Hi, this is Rick. In this movie, I'm going to show you uh, fairly quickly how to convert a NAV 2009 report into a NAV 2013 report. You do have to do a little conversion, and I think you, you can catch on to this fairly uh, quickly. Now, I'm not going to teach report writing. I'm just going to uh, take you through the process. So I've got a report here. I'm just going to use this one as an example. This is a customer sales history report. And it's in the 14 million range, but I want to uh, basically do this in a in a user-defined range. So I'm going to go into design on this report, and there you can see right there it's a, a 2009 type report. But let me just do a save as, and I'm going to save this as uh, 50,006, and we'll just call this uh, put a 13 out there just so we can indicate that this is design for NAV uh, 2013. Okay, let that get saved. This way I'm uh, working on a copy of the report. I'm not really changing the master. So here's the uh, copied version and you should do this as well when you're kind of getting started uh, just to be sure that uh, you're not um, taking any chances with your valuable reports. So I'm going to copy this and now the next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to export that out uh, so that I can put it into the other version. So I'm going to hit export. We'll give it a name. We'll call this, uh, I'll just give it the number of the report, 50006, and save that to the desktop. So you can see it right here. It's now been saved out on my desktop and I can now move the NAV09 uh, out of the way and I've got, uh, no I don't need to do that, so I've got here on my screen both the, um, I've got a remote desktop going to a, a virtual server for the 2009 so and I have both running, I've got both the um, the 2009 running and I've got the development environment running but what I do need to do is go out and just uh, on this file I just need to get it onto that server so I'm going to do a copy over here and then a paste and so now I've got my file the um, file I need uh, that report 50006 and I just need to import it into the um, development environment. So I go into reports and you'll see there is no 50006 here so I'm just going to go uh, file import and from the desktop I'm just going to pull in that report pretty simple the objects and but I let's do a view you'll notice that I'm, I'm creating this new report and there is none that I'm overriding so this is basically moving it into um, the the master so here it is so now I've got this report in my nav development environment in nav 2013 and if I try to run it I will get an error ma message saying this report is not supported and must be upgraded before you can modify or display it so it really tells you right away that there's a problem and you need to do something to it well, the key to doing this work is you just highlight it or the multiple reports that you want to run. And there's a special tool that they've added called Upgrade Reports. There it is right there. So under Tool called Upgrade Reports, you just hit hit it. And, and then it says, do you really want to do this? And we're going to say yes. And boom, it's done. Uh, I probably would recommend that you compile it once just to be sure. So I'm going to press F11 and it's now compiled. I could run it, but let me first, before I actually run it, let's look at the design because I want you to see what's changed. Now it's got the new NAV 2013 layout. Notice this is different than what you saw previously. This actually puts the fields, all the columns, right in the um, data, uh, data item and then the columns that are to be included right in the report body and I I'm going to cover that in a different uh, training class this is just how to convert them and uh, as well as I guess I should go in here as well and show you that a uh, view there is no sections so sections is gone in uh, 2013 uh, layouts is not gone so I can certainly go to the layouts let's actually let that start up so you can see it I'm going to bring up the Visual Studio uh, to start this thing up 
so you can see the actual layout of the report. So there's there's the report itself in Visual Studio here. Um, I probably should uh, show you the tools under the view the report data. So here is the data uh, the data set is all in there for you data set and you know everything's pretty much the same here. Um, and I do intend to have a class uh, sometime in the future covering uh, report building from scratch but that's not what we're looking at here so even the chart came forward I'm not going to make any changes whatsoever I'm just going to uh, exit out so it doesn't need to recompile and uh, let's just run it so I hit run so the nice thing about it as well is I can now run it directly from um, from the development tool I don't have to go you know I don't have to place it on the menu and I don't have to hit the run command to get it to run it goes right from there and let's just preview the report and boom there it is so it generates it very quickly here's the posted sales line detail what this is doing just looks like it's got each customer listed shows what you've sold to them credit memos pretty detailed um, quantities the extended price the cost extended cost and then the profit so it's kind of a, a profit per line item kind of report is what this is showing if I scroll down you'll see it's for all the different customers if I go to the end I think that chart should show up down here as well so let's see oh, that's page two sorry let's go to the end and there it is so there's there's the uh, Pull this up on your screen a little bit. So there's the uh, chart. There's the totals for the extended price, the extended cost, and the profit amount. And they're graphed for you right here on the bottom. So what I basically did is I just took that existing report um, that was all designed in it was all designed in uh, classic with the with the Visual Studio layouts. From that's important. That has to be in there. And then when you convert it it makes it so it runs perfectly in the 2013 very easy to do if you have any questions on that just give me a call thanks so much